All right, all right, all right. This is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another read. Um, hopefully you can hear me well um, as I couldn't put my mic in because I had to charge my phone. <sighs> all right. Um, this is a general read. This is what's up with you. Um, so whatever is up with you that comes up in this deck, whether it's love, finance, career, family, that's what we will go into. This is an all signs read. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to donate to the channel, please do so. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, the funds do go back into funding the channel so I can provide messages to you all. Um, I do think um, everyone who's returning, subscribers, non-subscribers, if you are returning, please consider subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the intuitive community. All right. So, here we go. Law of Manifestation. Consciously... Conscious, conscious, consciously create reality. Actively bring about what you want in your life. So someone is manifesting or want to know how to manifest. All right. It says light thief. Someone is trying to steal your light. All right. You can now enjoy your blessings. Each morning you wake up, there is an opportunity to achieve your goals. Standing tall, you refuse to be mistreated or feel sorry for yourself. Someone is crazy in love. You can't save everyone, only those who want help. Virgo. Highly sexual, but no one finds them attractive. Wow. Educated and intelligent. All right, let's get into this energy. I have a couple more, but I just want to start here. Um, someone has been trying to manifest some things in their life. And Holy Spirit is saying, community, to consciously create your reality by actively, um, and it's actively brings about what you want in your life. So basically what you think, what you fill your spirit with and everything will determine what you're manifesting, what you consume, what you eat what you watch what you listen to will manifest itself in your life so if you're always around people who are negative and saying negative things guess what you're going to start to think and speak negative um this has happened in my life and i found myself separating myself from people because i was like wait a minute i'm not a negative person i'm a naturally optimistic person um i found myself being pessimistic um speaking negative things and and thinking negative things and i was like wait a minute this is not me this is not the person that i want to be um even when it comes to to money and finances if you're always saying i'm broke i'm broke i'm broke guess what you're going to continue to be broke that's what you're manifesting into your life um speak i'm abundant i'm beautiful i'm worthy of love Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in your life, that's what you want to have around you, okay? Um, 
someone is trying to steal your light um and this happens a lot and and again i found for myself people can see your light even when you don't see it even on your worst day you still exude this light and people will come to try to snatch that away um through negative words um through witchcraft all kinds of things and these if you be people be in your family these could be friends um strangers so you have to protect your light um you know pray protection pray guys angels of protection um over you pray that they will be victorious because our the weapons of our warfare are not carnal um but they are mighty through god to the pulling down strongholds so you can't fight these battles in the natural or even against the person that are doing these things you have to actually fight that spirit because there's a spirit behind everything we we are in the natural realm but there's a whole spiritual realm um there's a whole battle that's going on in the spiritual realm okay um spirit is saying you can now enjoy your blessings this is after you start thinking positive after you protect yourself you can now enjoy the blessings that you have and even if you don't have everything you want you are still blessed enjoy your measure of health enjoy um the fact that you have a roof over your head enjoy the fact of the fact that your bills are paid that is a blessing even if you don't have anything extra after you pay your bills the fact that your bills are paid because imagine how you feel when you don't have enough to pay your bills um you know um the measure of health that you have imagine how you feel like you don't appreciate your health until you don't have it or until you're sick um and it doesn't matter how much money you have people will go broke to have their health okay so enjoy the blessings that you have and you'll start seeing other blessings come in um, each morning you wake up, there is an opportunity to achieve your goals. So if you're trying to achieve your goals, if there's something you're trying to do, um, you know, um, consciously create your reality. Okay. Um, refuse to be mistreated. And, 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 or feel sorry for yourself. Don't feel sorry for yourself because you don't have something right now that you think that you should have. Because there's always something to be grateful for. Okay, um, somebody is crazy in love. This could be you. This could be someone else. Um, I don't necessarily like the thing crazy in love, but when you're in love, you do some things that you might not have done um, without being in love. Because um, love is patient, it's kind, it believes all things. It, it, it never fails. It endures all things. You will endure things that you never thought that you would endure when you're in love. And it can be seen as crazy. Okay. But remember, you can't save everyone. Only those who want help or recognize the fact that they need help. And and so what I'm I'm getting is somebody is in love with somebody and they're trying to save them. They're trying to help them. But these this person does not want your help. And you can't waste your energy and time on someone who does not see that they need help or want your help, okay? Um, and, and be careful for those who say they want your help, but they're just using you, okay? Don't let someone play on your emotions, okay, to get what they want and to use you all up, okay? Because that, and it's funny because that's right under light thief. And sometimes you can have somebody... That you're trying to help and save and all they're doing is sapping your energy stealing your light from you um you could be a virgo or you could be dealing with a virgo um highly sexual but no one finds them attractive with this card i really see um in the area of love someone is you know will is saying to you um no one else will find you attractive but me and I don't even find you attractive. Again, keep that negative stuff away from you. The people here, you're highly intelligent and, and some may be highly educated. 
um, and that can be another place where people are jealous and they will try to steal your light, try to steal your thunder, try to steal your ideas. Um, but justice is coming and it says gaining victory from the wrongs that are done to you, that, that were done to you. Um, for some of you, you have some people who really did some things to you that was wrong. Um, and justice is coming in for you. Why? Because you are anointed. You have been empowered by the Most High to impact the world. And that's my little <laughs> crazy world drawing. Uh, please. I'm, I'm not an artist like that, but I, I try. I try. Um, <laughs> um, great visions can be comprehended by small-minded people. Can, can't be comprehended by small-minded people. Um, so for some of you, you've had some great ideas and things for business, for, for ministry, for your life, and you have people who just don't want to see it, or just or or you feel like people don't want to see it, but the truth of the matter is they can't see it. They can't comprehend it. Um, the vision you have is for um, certain uh, individuals, um, and they will start to come into your life, okay? Um, don't ever let go of your, um, let go. It is your season of more. Um, I got this, um, quote from actually a song, um, and everything. Um, is 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 um, called season of more. It's not even actually in the, um, order. Um, but it is your season of more. Um, because you have been manifesting. You have gone through some hard trials. Um, and you have um, endured. And so Spirit is saying, keep being awesome. Keep being your awesome self. Okay? Sometimes people will try to um, dissuade you from being who you are. Um, and you are a gift. You are who you are for a reason. God created you to be the person that you are. Um, and it doesn't mean that you're not growing and evolving. It just means we came in here with certain gifts, with certain talents. And again, it's not for everyone. Everyone might not be able to receive it. Guess what? They're not for you. And it says this person craves attention um, to make themselves feel better. So um, this can be uh, friends. This could be family. This could be the love interest. Um, sometimes they crave attention. And when they don't get attention, um, they throw a little tipper tantrum and hissy fit. Um, someone was wishing your downfall and I feel like that this is the person who wanted um, all of your attention but you couldn't give them that atten all of that attention all of the time because you had things that you needed to do okay um, someone was intentionally dishonest uh, with you um, you may be an introvert or uh, someone around you could be an introvert. But I'm really feeling like that this is your energy community. Okay. So we have um, blame storming. Um, someone is trying to blame you for the results of their actions. And we have knowledge is power. At the bottom of the deck, we have stop casting your pearls before it's won. Okay. So, um, this is more of a, a intuitive message. Like, I have a lot in this, what's up with you, um, deck. And this is what came out. Um, this is the season of uh, judgment and manifestation. Um, reaping what you sow. Um, so, I'm so happy that um, this message came out as positive as it did, community. And I'm not surprised about that because my community is awesome. Um, let's get some tarot on this. All right. Holy Spirit. 
What messages do you have for the intuitive community? What messages do you have for the intuitive community? All right, something jumped up and went back in. So the first card that we have out is the Palace of Swords. Um, this is a card that's um, uniquely created for this deck. Um, and it's about um, resting your mind, being in a place where you are balanced um, um, intuitively um, and in your emotions, um, having a clear mind, um, getting those secrets, um, those hidden things within yourself and um, things about people around you, people that may have been lying and, and things like that. But this is a place for you to rest and get um, rejuvenated um, because some of you were in the uh, Four of Cups where you were feeling down and depressed. But as you can see on here, um, in most of my cards I like this and I like that, you see the cup of love coming down from the heavens. Um, it is Piscean energy. Um, so you could be a Pisces or you could have been dealing with a Pisces or a Pisces um, with holding this cup of love from the divine could be a Pisces. Um, you went through a lot of heartache and, and pain and now spirit is about to reward you with love. It could be self-love um, as well. Um, and you're about to be gifted with rest. Uh, for some of you, you, you've been through hard battles um, and fighting hard. Um, but as you can see, um, this person is at rest and they're sleeping on one sword, got their helmet to the side. They're no longer fighting. This is a uh, Libra energy. So you could be a Libra or, um, you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but I like to point out to people on this card, um, you see the three of swords there is resting from heartbreak. The three of swords is a heartbreak card. Um, so some of you are resting um, and healing up from a heartbreak. And once you do that, you are transforming into the Empress um, with uh, grand ideas. That's this baby. Um, uh, some people could be pregnant or have had a child. Um, but um, baby um, in the spirit is just a new idea, new creation, um, some newness. Um, you could have the initials. Um, of uh, J or M um, that could be somewhere in your um, name or it could be um, the initials of someone uh, um, that you were dealing with romantically or about to deal with um, but as you can see the harvest here has come in so that is the manifestation of your blessings that is beautiful so male or female that is what you're embodying um, you could be getting new ideas for business, for ministry. Um, you can get a new job. Of course, I have a call coming in right in the message. I'm calling back. So you have the emperor energy. So we have the emperor and the empress. Um, that is a perfect match. Aries energy. So this is, could be the person that's coming in to your life or you could be the emperor um and about to have your empress this is someone with authority and they rule um um uh, well um they're very balanced emotionally um they um embody all of the strengths of the kings the empress embodies all of the strengths of the queen um and everything like that again mother energy this is father it fatherly energy um, so you could be a father, you could be a mother. Um, strength is coming into you. That's Leo energy. And we have also the Seven of Cups, which is Taurus energy. Some of you have been waiting for this harvest for quite a while. Um, and everything like that, waiting for your sh ships to come in. Uh, waiting to find out what you need to do to take action. That's Aries energy. That's the Three of Wands card there. Yeah, some of you had some heavy burdens uh, with the um, Ten of Wands. 
a lot of fighting, just a lot on your plate. Some things you might have to have to deal with your own that's Sagittarius energy. All right, but justice is coming in and you're going to be ending cycles. So this is Libra energy and Scorpio energy. We have the King of Coins. Um, so that's um, prosperity um, for you, um, stability, um, grounding, where you could have felt unstable. Um, you have um, the King of Swords, um, an authoritative figure. Um, the initials on his head is C and M. Um, so you could these could be the initials in your name. Maybe the initials of someone that you're dealing with. Someone who has a clear mind, um, who is balanced in their intuition. And um, knows how to help people. Um, this could have been, um, you, you want to get this victory after a long battle. Um, Leo energy. On the bottom of the deck, we have um, the lovers card, um, Pisces, uh, cancer energy. Sorry about that. Um, that call kind of threw me off. So please, um, I apologize. Um, so there's new love coming in um, after um, the Ten of Swords of being betrayed and stabbed in the back. Um, you have somebody who may have been breadcrumbing you, but now you have the um, Ten of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, um, happy house, happy life. Piscean energy. All right. Okay. We are going to get you some oracles and we are going to wrap this up because this is cut and dry. This is your season of more. And we see that. All right. So we have um, happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations, love yourself first. So like I said, for some of you, the cup of love that you're getting from the most high could be just a love for yourself. All right. Again, we have celebration, happiness and celebrations within there. We have celebration. Good times come from hard work, time spent in good company. Wow. Okay. Anything else? I haven't used this deck in a while. Um, strength, determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. Yes, yeah, some of you are, um, and the strength card came out in the um, other deck, um, but your strength is coming from your determination, your perseverance, and discovering yourself. So declutter, let go of old items, and create a new sacred space for yourself. Um, what I will also say for that is that you cannot receive something new if you don't have room for it. So some of you may have to clear out um, your closet, your home, um, your spirit, your heart. If you're cluttered up with um, pain of the past um, and heartbreak and exes from the past, you can't receive the new thing. Okay. Communicate. Receive and express the truth. Peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. Peace and contentment are coming to you. Pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine. Acknowledge red flags. Okay, so use your intuition. This is a season where 
the Most High is speaking to his people about their purpose and their life purpose and what they need to do. Okay? Because manifestation season is here, law of attraction, thoughts become things. So that was in the first um, part of the reading. Watch those thoughts. Watch those thoughts. All right, so release, release grudges, wounds, and pent up feelings through healthy activities. Again, that's confirmation because I was saying you won't have room for things when you um, you need to declutter. Okay, so you can get the things that you need so you can manifest what you need okay and it says retreat time spent alone reflection on past and current situations for me this is the um hermit card i uh, spend some time alone meditate pray talk to the most high about what you are supposed to do and at the bottom of the deck it says wisdom knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor okay so, um, use that wisdom, learn the lessons that you were supposed to learn so you can move on and stop going through the same cycles over and over and over again. And that is the message that I have for you um, all. Thank you so much for um, visiting my channel. Please like um, this video. If this resonated with you, please comment. It does really um, do me well to, to hear the comments and, and see that this resonates uh, with you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.